I have a plan. I'm going to introduce three steps to kill my procrastination forever. And I think if you do this too, it will be an absolute game changer for you. And to prove that these steps actually work, I'll be using them to make this video in record time. So for the past few days, I have been really procrastinating. I know I should be working on this video, but I keep finding myself watching videos about how to use this new camera or filmmaking or bodybuilding because I'm starting to do a cut. I even dusted my blinds and my fan instead of making the video I should be making. So, not good. After thinking about it, my productivity always crashes when I'm starting a new video. And there's a good reason to why this happens. We don't know exactly what we need to do. I know I need to make this YouTube video, but making a video is such a big task. In fact, it's not even a task, it's a project. And that's where the first step comes in, planning. Think about it this way, you're the navigator of a ship and you know what your destination is, but the directions on how to get there are unclear. Having a giant looming project to complete is daunting. It may feel overwhelming and even impossible to complete so much work. So we get distracted by the easier things to do. Okay, so at the moment I'm planning out the entire video, assigning the major milestones and when they should be due during the week. That way I can see what tasks are most important, the critical line of path, and also somehow to keep myself accountable to the, the timeline, basically. But sometimes even when you lay everything out and all the directions to the destination are clear, it can still be hard to do the actual work. We all have those times when we break the project into smaller, more manageable tasks. And yet, we still are not doing what we're meant to be. Well, here's the solution. Step two, make dopamine work for you. So there's this thing called instant gratification. I'm sure you heard of it. The problem is all over the internet. But it really comes down to this. As humans, we want to spend the least amount of energy as possible. Why go to the grocery store, buy high quality produce, come back, cook it, when you can bypass all of that and have delicious food delivered straight to you within 20 minutes? From an energy basis, Uber Eats is a far better solution. But being rewarded without putting any effort in leaves us with a feeling of guilt, anxiety, self-hatred, and dread. If we consistently do not do difficult things, eventually we lose control of the part of us that wants things to be easy and pleasurable. So of course doing the hard work is going to be difficult. That's why dopamine is so important. See, dopamine is a neurochemical for motivation and reward. If you are rewarded by a release of dopamine without any effort, the next time dopamine is released, it will cause greater motivation to get the reward without any effort. So we need to find a way to break the cycle. So when I notice that I'm getting distracted by watching too many videos, the best way to cut the cycle is to literally get up and get moving. And to move in the direction of my goal. Whether that be going to the gym or even taking a short walk. Generally, by the time I get back, my dopamine receptors have recharged and I'm, and I'm in a much better mental state and feeling pretty motivated to get work done. By the way, I've actually made an entire video about how dopamine works, so I recommend you giving that a watch. So now that I'm back at my desk, it's time to work on this script. <clears throat> Somehow, some way, you need to get started. And when you do start, you are going to feel resistance. So I've been working on this script and this and editing is always the hardest part because the creative ideas don't just flow out of me. You know, it's so easy to just pick up your phone, go to Tinder, and then just start swiping on the meat market, or you can go around to YouTube and start looking for inspiration instead of just working my way through the resistance. Yeah, it's hard, man.
but if you persist, momentum will start to build. So it's been a couple more hours now and the first draft of the script is almost complete. So you know men, if you're actually able to catch yourself every time you feel like your concentration is slipping, it really does get easier. Especially when you enter a state of flow. Time starts to move a lot more quickly and the work becomes much more enjoyable. So you have put in some hard work. Now it's time for step three, reward and reflection. Every time you do something that requires hard work, you should reward yourself with things you legitimately enjoy doing because after all, you have earned it. Honestly, think about what you have achieved. You went from only doing the easy things to doing something that actually demanded hard work. You persevered through the resistance even though it was uncomfortable and you accomplished something you sought out to do. The beautiful thing is, the more you practice doing the hard things over the easy things, the more manageable procrastination becomes. Every time you choose to do the dishes now rather than later, every time you choose to go to the gym today rather than tomorrow, every time you choose to cook dinner rather than ordering takeout, you're strengthening that hard working muscle. You are building the habit against procrastination. And I say habit intentionally because that's what the three steps are. The planning phase is your cue, the doing phase is you taking action, and the reward phase is reinforcing the habit. The spillover to your work and study is obvious. There is one more thing though. The fight against instant gratification never ends. We are always going to feel the attraction to doing the easy things. And so you will stumble, just like I did. So I had a very strong first half of the week, but then it got to editing this video and every time that I come and sit in this chair to work on it, I really want to get away from it. I'm trying to escape the resistance. So I wanted to understand where the resistance was coming from. It's a new day and I think I know why I've been procrastinating with this video editing. So let me grab some paper and I'll show you. So I was watching this podcast and I wanted to show you something really interesting. So Stephen has this equation for discipline, which is why you do something plus how much you enjoy it minus the emotional cost of doing it or the friction. So in the case of me making these YouTube videos, my why is really strong. I do enjoy making them, but there is a lot of friction. The videos take a lot of time and a lot of energy. So when I upload it to YouTube and they don't get the views that I want them to be getting, I feel rather shitty. That gives me a score of 12 out of 30, which is like 50%. So of course I'm going to struggle. This is true for anything that you want to do as well. For example, let's say you want to lose weight. Your why might be really strong, but you might not like going to the gym. And every time that you step on the scales or look into the mirror, you think you're a fat fuck. So of course you're going to struggle. Of course you're not going to be consistent. And of course it's going to be hard. So that's where our three step plan breaks down, right? Well, no, your reward is not the gratification of the result. Your reward is the self satisfaction you get every time you chose to do the hard thing. At the end of the day, when we look at what we did, we can feel pride in what we accomplished. When you do this over a long enough period of time, you build a confidence in yourself. You begin to learn, you know, I am capable of making the hard decisions. I am capable of doing the hard work. Couple that with a strong why, discipline and procrastination become much easier. Okay, video complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. It is still Sunday night, so I made it. Yeah, see you in the next one.